The Haitian Artists Assembly of Massachusetts, an organization that supports 40 Haitian artists, held an exhibition at Scully Square Gallery at City Hall titled Color of Resilience, which housed work from 10 Haitian artists. The artwork presented by artists Fia Dubasin and Yuvaline Joseph was all inspired by Afrocentric people from the African diaspora. I include um, a lot of different cultural references in my artwork, and I want for my art to represent like people of the African diaspora, only because people of color were never really the subject of the pieces. From mid-January through Black History Month in February, the Haitian artists highlighted the creativity, prosperity, and history of the Haitian culture through their artwork. For me, it was more about like showcasing Black excellence and like our beauty, our like uniqueness in different ways. According to a Forbes study, the death of George Floyd in 2020 pressured many museums to start displaying work done by Black artists, as only 1.2 percent of Black artists are featured in major art museums. I can't find people that look like me. I can't find people that my daughter, my son would relate to. And so I took that responsibility upon myself as an artist to spread the word to show how beautiful people of color can be. Since 2008, Artnet reported that the market for Black artists has increased by 400 percent. The Embrace, which is a sculpture of Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King, was recently unveiled and created by Black sculptor Hank Willis Thomas here in Boston. Another Black artist, Kahinde Wiley, painted a portrait of former President Barack Obama, which is now shown at the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. We shape the way people see things with your art. And I think that as artists, we're very powerful because we have a way to connect with people without using words, without using, um, like, we're just using a paintbrush. Reporting for WEBJ News, I'm Sydney Cohen.